product team has taken up a new project called Weathermaster. The team is planning to move to Scrum methodology, and this is an outline of its first Scrum meeting. Time box to 15 minutes, Rick is the Scrum Master of this meeting, where the team members discuss what they did yesterday, their plans for today, and the impediments they faced. All team members are standing up, including Todd, who's joined the meeting via video chat. Rick holds the meeting near a Scrum board. Angela, the product owner, is absent. Rick reiterates that all discussions would be parked until after the Scrum meeting and encourages his team to keep the meeting short. People can chime in to resolve obstacles. Hi team, welcome to the daily stand-up meeting for the product team on Project Weathermaster. We are in Sprint 1 and today is the second day. As we are planning to transition to Scrum methodology, I hope you will find this daily stand-up meeting helpful. In this meeting, you will provide information about what you did yesterday, what you plan to do today, and what challenges you faced. I think everyone's here. Let's start. I don't see Angela. Shouldn't she be here? I did add Angela as an optional attendee to this meeting, and since she hasn't showed up, we don't have to wait for her, Susan. Scrum doesn't provide a specific yes or no about the product owner's participation in the daily Scrum. The PO's primary role is to provide direction and clarify requirements and priorities. Since we don't always discuss those in detail at this meeting, the PO is not required to be here. If the POs want to attend, they are generally in listen-only mode for the duration of the meeting. They can use the information gathered during the meeting for separate offline conversations. What about Todd? He works from his home office, right? Todd will be a part of the meeting through video chat. It is important that we include every team member in the meeting. Hi, Todd. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Am I audible? Yes, Todd. Team, let's all stand up for the meeting. Why don't you go first, Aaron? Yesterday I was working on creating the mock objects to mask the database calls from the unit tests. The difficulty with this approach is that our server-side logic is so dependent on the metadata that writing a true mock is a mammoth exercise. There are decisions that are taken during runtime based on the data. Some of the stored procedure calls are also made based on the values returned through inline queries that are also embedded in the code. I was debugging the code until about 9 p.m., but for the life of me, I couldn't figure this out. Aaron, could we request you to be concise when you provide an update? If you think some of the details you describe might be interesting to others, why don't you write a wiki page on it and share the link? So, getting back to your update, did you finish the task yesterday? No, it turned out to be much more complex than I had imagined. I'll continue to work on it today and see if I can figure out an XML structure to mock the schema and hard code some return values. But I am really stuck as far as the inline queries are concerned. I know what you're talking about. There is a reason why the inline queries are there in the code. This is mainly for performance reasons when the overheads of making a procedure call based on a metadata value and then processing the... Sorry for the interruption again, guys. This is a really great conversation. May I suggest we write this issue in the parking lot? I'm not sure what you mean by that, Rick. 
Let me explain. What Aaron just brought up is a blocking issue. Team members should bring these up during the daily scrum so that everybody knows that one of the team members is stuck. However, the daily scrum is not necessarily the meeting where solutions to every obstacle can or should be found. It looks like Mary knows a thing or two about the issue that Aaron has brought up. Let's jot this down as a parking lot topic. This means the team can have offline conversations after the daily scrum to track it down. I'm also going to make a note that will track the impediment Aaron faced daily until it is removed. You should let me know if I can help in any way, right? Aaron, is there anything else you would like to say? No, I am done. Thanks. Yesterday I worked on developing the wizards for bulk order creation. I'm almost done. Today I need to write code to handle some of the exception scenarios before I can get them over to Susan for testing. That's it for me, I guess. Did you forget to mention any impediments? Not really an impediment at present, but I would like to mention that my computer probably needs to be upgraded with more RAM. It has been slow for the past few weeks. Okay, I wrote up some scenarios to test the bulk order wizard. I'm looking to get my hands on the code as soon as Mary is done. Today, I'm also hoping to complete the company order testing that has been pending for a while. I'm okay for the moment, but I do have one question. Shouldn't we all be updating the task board as we speak? We could. It is up to you guys if you think you want to do this during the meeting. If you ask my opinion, we should update the board as soon as we are ready to move the tasks and not wait for the meeting. This will ensure that the board is always up to date and also that we use the meeting time to focus on the conversations. That's a great point, Rick. I can't see the board very well from here anyway, so maybe we should find a way to create an electronic version of it too at some point. Great point, Todd. Why don't you go next with your updates? All right. Hey, Rick, would you like to know about my work on the advertising module first or the integration server? Whatever the team decides is fine with me. Remember, this is really your meeting, and I'm only here to facilitate and ensure we get the most out of this meeting. Alright then, I guess I'll start with the integration server. I would like to inform everybody that I managed to set up the integration server that we can use as a sandbox to test the code before checking it in source control. I'll send everybody a link with some instructions and credentials. I have also started looking at the stories for the advertising module. It looks like there are a lot of open statements in the stories that I don't really understand. I guess I should have been paying more attention during the sprint planning. I really need to have a conversation with Angela about this. That is my main impediment right now. I sent her an email, but haven't received a response yet. I don't have anything new to add today. I'm almost through with setting up our project on the freeware tool that I downloaded yesterday. I'll show you guys a demo in the meeting I set up later today. I'll try to chase down some of these parking lot items. Anything else before we close the meeting? All right, that's it for today. Have a great day. Do you have a moment to chat about the inline queries real quick? The purpose of a Scrum meeting is to keep the team members updated and resolve any impediments. It's an ideal way to kickstart the day on a positive note. The Scrum Master reinforces the sense of the self-managing team, facilitates communication between team members, brings the team's focus back to what's important, and supports improvement. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.